Hello and welcome to Train Simulator 2021. Today we're driving the Large Prairie engine that's available on the Steam store. This train comes with an advanced driving mode, so we will have to control the cylinders and the brakes using the ejectors, as well as putting in water manually using the injectors and making sure we monitor everything, otherwise things are going to go wrong. Right, so I've checked the fire. Let's put the reverser in the correct position. I am doing this on the keyboard as you have to hold E to move the reverse forwards and backwards. Adjusting the oil, I don't think that's actually uh, simulated, but it's worth doing. Okay. Right, I think we're ready to go. Just check the cylinders are open. Let's take off the handbrake. Little whistle to know we're about to move. Open the regulator. Oh, I've forgotten to. Got to open the ejectors to release the brakes. Now, I don't want too much power because uh, I don't want a wheel spin. And the speed limit here is about 15, so we're going to shut off. Move the regulator back. We want to be using our steam more efficiently. Now I believe the speed limit changes just after the signals. Open the regulator a bit more. Keep that speed up to about 15. There's the 45. Right, let's just close the regulator for a moment. Let's bring the uh, reverse of back. Make sure the back of the train is out of the 15 and then we can open the regulator. Okay. Let's close the cylinder cocks. We don't need them open anymore. I'm sure there's no more water in the cylinders. Open the regulator up a bit and start to build a bit of speed up. a bit more, bring it back, uh, about 21 percent I think that's as far back as it can go, and we've just got to keep an eye on the track ahead, keep an eye on the dials, make sure that we are safely driving, I believe the speed limit drops to, I think it's 25 as we approach the next station, so we're going to stop at the next station, it's only a short hop, we're only doing the next station and the terminus at the end. So the speed limit here is 45. I'm going to maintain that. Keep popping our head out the window, make sure we're looking out for signals, whistle boards, and changes in the speed limit. Now, due to the design of uh, this locomotive, there are two valves inside the steam chest, so you have to open up the regulator fully before shutting it again, otherwise sometimes it won't shut correctly. Right, I've opened up the firebox doors and I've opened up the coal bit at the back and that starts the uh, shoveling and stoking of the fire. Right, there's our distance signal at danger, so we need to begin slowing down. Speed limit shortly turns to 25. No more than 10 inches of mercury, we can help it when it comes to braking. Most people can spill their tea. Fireman's going to be happy when he gets to off his feet. So what we're doing is we're using the train brake to add braking and the ejector to remove it. We're going to put the reverser in its fully forward position, so we've got a bit more control slower speed and if we need to suddenly increase our speed because we're stopping too soon we can do that. So just gonna add a little bit more regulator because we've slowed down a bit earlier than I was expecting to. Check our coal. That was all good. I'm gonna have to bring a reverse back. I think I definitely uh, slowed down a bit early. Coal again. Good. 
push on up there and reverse it back forwards in a moment. Increase our braking. There's the platform. Keep an eye out for that platform. The view out of these things is awful. Here we go. Coming in. Large ejector to remove the brakes so we can come in slowly. Hands on the brake lever. Ready to start. How far down the platform are we? Oh no, we're on the platform. We're on the platform. We can stop. So. And then just before we start, pull the large ejector to try and have a nice smooth break. Brilliant. Okay, let's shut this. That will stop the fireman from shoveling. He's probably knackered, and I think we probably overfilled the firebox a little bit anyway. We'll release the vacuum brakes and we'll pop on the handbrake instead. Go, that'll hold us where we are. Right, well, we might as well add a bit of water while we're sat here. So, we're going to open this tap here, and then we're going to open this injector. And what you need to do is set it at just the right amount, you have to do it by ear, so that you've got enough steam to pull the water into the boiler. You can hear it, you can tell visually if you know where to look, but it's not brilliant on the simulator. But what we want to do, it's really difficult to do while the uh, safety is going off. Right, that's that's not enough steam. We need a bit more steam. That's the sound we're waiting for. And now that is pulling water into the boiler. Okay, right, let's get ready to move off again. Move the reverser forwards, open the cylinder cups. Just do a final check of everything. Look round. Water's good. Signal is clear. So let's take off the handbrake. We actually do still have a bit of brake pressure in there. Shut the injector. We've got enough water. There we go. That's shut. Sound the whistle to let people know we are about to move. Open the injector to release the brakes. And about 30% regulator. Shut off because otherwise we'll end up wheel spinning. Once we start moving, we can open it up again. We're off again. Gonna leave the uh, large injector slightly open, just at lower speed. Probably gonna be using more of the brakes than the regulator for the next section as it's all downhill. Okay, let's start pulling the uh, reverser back. So most of this is downhill, so pull it back quite a bit. We won't be using much power. The speed limit is 45 here, so it is going to be a lot of uh, braking downhill. Pretty close to the top now. Go. Serving steam. I'm going to quickly cheat, I think, and just check the speed limit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're good. Do you know what? I cannot wait for uh, steam locomotives to come to Train Sim World. It really needs them, especially on the Dorset and Somerset Railway 
to me to state my motives. Right, let's close the regulator. We're going to be switching over to using the brakes shortly to control speed. In. So the train brakes actually destroying the vacuum in uh, the brake pipe, and the ejector adds vacuum. So the way that uh, brakes work on a, a vacuum brake is that the brakes are on as standard, and by creating a vacuum, you're actually pulling the brakes off of the wheel. That's why when you've got full braking, the dial reads as uh, zero inches of mercury because what the numbers are actually showing is how much vacuum pressure you've got and uh, when you've got no vacuum pressure the brakes are pulling against the wheel. When you've got 21 inches you pull the brakes off of the wheel. It took me a little while to get my head around that because it's so different to, uh, to modern trains. You just slide the lever forward or you slide the lever back and it just does it for you. But actually understanding how the locomotive works makes driving in the advanced modes so much easier. And by the way, I'm no expert when it comes to steam trains. Um, there's one thing I learned very quickly is that depending on the line and who run the train, things could be completely different. GWR, for example, have completely different ways of running their trains to the rest of the country. So it does change between trains. For example, this train only has one large ejector for the brakes, whereas many other trains have a large and small ejector. So, yeah, it's, it's very difficult to know everything about steam trains. There is so much to learn. Right, as you can see, what I'm doing now is I'm using the train brake and the ejector to balance the amount of brake that you've got as we're going downhill, trying not to overspeed. I'm trying to hold about 20 inches of mercury, that seems to be about right, but it's not easy, it's very, very sensitive. I believe at the bottom of this hill, going to a 25 and then I believe it goes into a 10. I'll probably have to cheat again in a minute and double check. Just add in that bit more braking in. I'm trying to control that speed. I'm trying to stop that safely going off. Let's uh, add a bit more water. Starting to level out a little bit, I think. Probably don't need as much braking. Keeping out with the uh, speed change now. Final destination is just to the right. Yep, not far away. There's the town. Let's prepare to stop. So let's move the reverse forwards. Get ready to come into the 25 shortly. Still doing yet. So there's not actually a speedometer in this train. One of the reasons I am using the uh, overlay hub in the top left. Coming down the speed just a bit, and then we need to actually bring it down to about 10. So it's 10 as you come into the platform. Please signal. Just turn off the water. Not going to need it now anyway. Add a bit more 
break. There's a random hole in the ground there. That's slightly too much breaking in then. Get used to coming down that hill. Let's try and stop before the switch. In real life, that's what you'd use to go around the carriages. Okay. Uh, there we go. My stop. I'll put the handbrake on. All done. Right. I'll open the doors and I'm going to switch the outside camera. And apart from it blowing off its steam, like I said I think we slightly uh, overfilled these firebox earlier on. And there we go. So, thank you for watching the video. It's only a quick one. I might do some more at a later date. See you later.